Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel and today it's the Arduino series about binary so let's get started now note that this is just an introduction to binary as there is much more than just simply binaries we need something to compare to to understand what binary are and how they work and most of us knows the base of 10 let's start by the basics which is the decimal we always start with zero then we had one it's one if we had one it's two if we had one it's three and then we can do that until nine most of us we know what's coming next all right but now when we are here at nine what are we actually doing we are putting down a zero in the normal number dead because it's zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and we go back to zero then we go to the decimal which is dc the latin's number for ten so let's do that we have the normal number added always one but from zero to nine then we switch to the decimal doesn't matter if it's one two three huh? and then after we have the 100 this is how we count normally let's do that so we have 10 and we go all the way to 15 like so we stop here and now we can go to the binary and see how it works basically what the binary is there is a number b means two and this means that the binary can count only with 0 and 1s. Unlike the decimal which is 0 to 9, and that's all there is. So how do we count all this with binaries? Okay, so let's start. Let's say I want a 0. This means zeros because there is zeros everywhere. Zeros means that the switch is off. Those little tiny switches in the binaries are off. Hey, what's happened? <laughs> now, if I want to go to 1, where do I put the 1? Do I put it here or do I put it there? Well, we put it here. So I add 1, but all the other switches will be off because I want 1. How do we do the number 2? Do we put 1 here and 1 here? This, for most people, would be logical. But as we saw in our decimal example, when we run out of number, we carry it over. So here, we will put the zero and we carry forward the one. That's the way it is. And we put it now. So this means two in binary. And of course, all the other switches are off. <laughs> and now we want to go to the number three that we understand how to do the one and how to do the number two. So for the number three, we know that this means one. So we turn on the switch. And we know that this is 2, so we turn on the switch also. That will be 3. All the rest will be zeros again. This means that the remaining switches will be off, like so. But as we understand, this won't work for number 4. So let's go to this and explain to you how we will do the number 4. Basically, this is to explain to you how the carry forward works. Let me simplify this and understand that we want to go for number 3, add 1, to go to 4, alright? So to make it simpler, I will just minimize this and remove the extras. So this is what we want to do and we want to add 1. So how do we do that? Do we do 1 plus 1? Of course we do not. If you remember, it's a carry forward method which means that 1 plus 1 in binary it's 0. So let's put the 0 here and carry forward the 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal again at 0. We put the 0 there. We carry forward the 1 and 1 plus 0 is equal 1. 0 plus 0 of course it's equal at zero which means that after zero zero one one which is three we get four by the mean of zero one zero zero in binary so let's put it in the grid now as we established just now let's put the number four into the binary grid we start by the right side now as you understand one plus one is equal to zero carry forward moving to the left now one plus one equals zero one plus zero equal one and 0 plus 0 equals 0. There we are. Now we can proceed with the number 5. We had 
one. So we toggle on the switch for one. We don't need the two. We need the four. We don't need the number eight. And now we can populate all the grid like this until the number eight. And I will show you how it works. It is, if you look at the number, just adding one simply to carry forward. So here will be a zero because one plus one. I will carry forward. One plus one, zero. I will carry forward. One plus one, zero. I will carry forward. And one plus zero, one. As we understood the transition from three to four, then for the number nine, we know why eight is. So we just have to add plus one in binary. And this is what it looks like. We can then continue to 10. We need to add two. So that is like that. Huh? Do not forget, guys. Thank you. Now we can continue and go all the way to 15. And once we reach 15 and taking number only, we max up all the possibilities that we can have with four switches. We can do maximum of 15. If you see this, Basically, we run out of switches, and the only way to continue is to add more. And then we will be able to continue our count and add 0, 0, 0, 1. All right, and here will be the 16. This is the 1 plus 1. So you can see the pattern here 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, so on and so forth. For the second, this is in the next column, plus 2 is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, so on and so forth. You will understand that it's 4 times 0, 4 times 1s, and 8 times zeros, 8 times 1s. And as we go on with the 16 bits, it will be the same. And you notice every time we multiply by a factor of 2, once you move to the left. And this is because there is only 2 switches. You understand how it works? That's the basic of binaries. Now we know how to compare decimals to binaries. Let's do the opposite, convert the binary to decimals. So how do we do that? Basically, we know now to convert to the binaries, what denominator are we going to use? Do we divide it? Do we multiply? Do we add it? Do we subtract it? Let's go to it and I'll show you. We start with a zero and we had another zero. This is how it works. But of course, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Now let's go and add all the pluses and we start to do zero, 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 and one. Simply because one times one is equal one. Now, if we want to find the number two, one times one, we know it's equal as one. Two times one, it's equal at two. It should be like this. Do you think it will be? Let's find out. Let's add them in the grid and see how it works. One times eight is eight, so it's zero. One times four is four, so it's not this one. One times two, it's two, so it's correct. And yes, you guessed correctly. So now we go quickly and we notice that when we reach the number eight, we go to this. All right, it's very simple, you can see. So now we understand how it works. Let me populate everything and we know how to go from decimal to binary and from binary to decimal, which this one should not be decimal to binary, should be binary to decimal. You get my drift. I will uh, change that. Yes. However, I do hope that you like this video. If you want to know more about the binary, simply leave a comment down below. I will be happy to do a follow-up video on that. But as for now, that is it for today. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon and this video can be fine there, but with a twist. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things like if you want to, subscribe you may as well or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time i post a new video however if you do not like this video simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so i will try to improve for you guys stay safe and bye now